Hello everyone, this is Karthik Selvaraj and in this video 23 of new USB tutorials we will be seeing about the component called batch. So Mule USB provides a batch job execution option which is normally not available in most of the USBs so that is an added advantage that we have in Mule USB. So I have already created the flow but I will just show how it is structured so if you create a batch component or, or drag a batch component over to the canvas you can see it is divided into three uh, sub parts so first is the input and the next one is the process records which has a batch step it can be multiple step and you have an on completion layer so i will delete this so what we have did is for the input we are going to have the database you no know, connector which will get the details from a table called participants so I have created a table called participant and there is only one record over here with four columns next we have a batch step so the extracted record will be going to a folder called output batch1 and then we uh, output a message called step1 completed then there is a batch step 2 which drops the messages to a folder called output batch 2 and it outputs a message called step 2 completed finally on completion we brought a message the batching has completed ok so now let's let me show you the output batch uh, we can clear the records over here so batch 2 doesn't have anything record in batch 1 as well okay, so now both the output folders doesn't have anything so now I will run the application so uh, application has been deployed and if I go and look into the output folder, you will see the batching or the flow hasn't started. So, because if you see in my previous video, we were discussing about uh, the component called poll, which was polling a database, but here we don't have any such frequency or parameter to say when to extract data from this database. So, that is where we want to use batch execute so before that I will have an FTP component ok so let us assume that this FTP component is pulling a folder called input so next I will have a batch execute so batch execute uh, component so here my batch flow is called batch batch so you can see whatever the flow we, uh, batch flows we have will be listed over here so it's automatically listed we should just select this so what we are doing is whenever we place a file in this folder called input then a batch is executed which is nothing but this batch so if we don't want the database to be pulled regularly on a interval basis if you want to get that triggered on some con or condition or uh, through an uh, HTTP post or an uh, FTP trigger you can use such mechanisms so now whenever we place a file in this input folder you will get uh, the batch triggered so now I will execute it execute it Let's copy any file. I mean, this file can be any file. It's just to trigger the batch process. So it has been successfully deployed. I'll clear this console. I'll place a input file in my folder. Now you can see that batch two has a file, which is the record that we saw in the database. We can see a file in batch one folder as well. It will be the same one we go to the screen so 
when you select a batch component it automatically gives you this informations in the console so you know it it says that a job with the instance id has been created and the input phase has started and it will tell you the number of records that has been processed and here we can see the step one has been completed which we had it in this logger component over here and you can see that the step two has been completed and once the whole batching is completed on completion we had the logger to say that the batching has completed so you can see that over here okay. so once the batch process is completed you can see there is a report created by mule itself so it gives you the number of uh, uh, successful records and it will give you the number of failed records so we had only one record so it says that the successful record is one and there were no failed records so this is a pretty good uh, feature that we have in mule usb and uh, i want to just explain you about another functionality that we have in uh, mule as well so it's called uh, the data sense so here you can see even without when we design this component database component and my, when i have provided the table name you can see the column names listed over here okay so this is something that uh, we have in mule sp and the technology behind this is called data sense so if i delete this name and if i save it you can see that it's not able to find it and if i again have this and save you can see that the column names is been retrieved from the table so this is a pretty cool feature that we have in view because i don't have to go and check the database uh, every time that uh, i change the table name so i can get the table details over here as well so that's all for this video so we will be seeing about uh, different component in my next video and thanks for watching bye